Hey, what up though? Holy shit. Dominoes, what's up? Honestly, guys. It's been a hot minute since I've been able to talk to you. Yo, let's like roll back the rim on this shit and really open it up and see what's up. Was 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 a pop in? Just a bubbly pepperoni, New York style, Brooklyn they call it from Domino's. Domino's is fantastic. It's kind of my MVP of delivery pizzas. Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Large, thin, crispy, delicious. A couple bucks for delivery. So we're looking at like fifteen bones, but is what it is. I mean, I'll pay it. To be honest with you guys, may still be kind of drunk. I got litty last night. But whatever, we haven't talked in a while, so let's just talk it out. Also, in my hungover state, dude, it's 6 p.m. I have to work in two hours. <laughs> and then I have to be at work till like 3 a.m. But whatever, it is what it is. I got smashed last night. But before we get into that, Let's get into this. You know what? This pizza, or this slice, I should say, this pizza is looking good, but this slice, this fatty daddy. Oh, it doesn't have a point on it, though. What's the point? Needing it. Oh, there's always a point. Ow. It's kind of hot. That's a good thing, though. I hate when delivery comes it's not hot. Come on, get on, get in on that. All right, guys, got some ranch. I'm giving you a deep look, a deep look into trash bag hoodie, real trash baggy. If I look like a piece of garbage, it's because I am right now. And you know what? It is what it is. There's no two ways about it. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to be at who I am for the moment. And who I am is a trash bag. And why is that? Because I got wrecked. I didn't go to bed till I want to say 7 a.m. nights and they happen in, in my life at least I need to chill out I need they need to be less often but they do happen the one thing I can say Is positive is I didn't black out and we've all been there I think anybody who parties decently hard it's inevitable if you drink at some point in your drinking career you're gonna black out And unfortunately, it's really not the, it's really the worst thing, at least for me. Every time I black out, the next day I always wake up to confusion, uncertainty. Almost knowing that, not knowing anything that I did, but also knowing that I probably offended somebody. And it's really not a great feeling. So 
so much so that when I run into the people that I was with, when I blocked out, I almost prefer them not to tell me what I did because I, sometimes I just can't stomach it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the word black in blackout is dark. Black is a dark color and when I black out, weirdly, I don't know, I get kind of dark. Uh, some dark emotions come out and it's it's really not that admirable or favorable or enjoyable or respectable or any of the above but it happens anyways I recollect all of us things so that was great One of the main reasons I wanted to party last night was because at my second job, my seasonal job, I worked two concerts for the last two nights. And the first one was Luke Bryan, which I'm not really a fan of country music or anything like that, but the atmosphere there was lit. It was essentially 90% girls, women, scantily dressed, running around, getting hammered. And I'm serving beer. bunch of drunk girls having a good time and when you're in that environment even though it's work if it's easy work the selling beer and the money is fantastic It gets to you. You want to join in. You want to become part of the party. So that was last two nights ago. I didn't party that night. Kept it chilled. But then last night. I worked another concert. Peter Frampton, Def Leppard, and Journey. Excuse me. Though less lit, less baby boomers. Or sorry, last baby boomers. It was all baby boomers. Less young girls. A lot of baby boomers. A lot of baby boomers. They weren't getting it quite as lit. They, you know, they're sixty. They gotta watch their cholesterol and their livers and whatever the fuck. They have to care for their health a little more. And so it was less lit, but still. Oh my god. Still people drinking, having a good time. It's Friday. Makes me want to have a good time. So once I got done, I was like, I gotta go have a good time. And it didn't help that my local bar, where it is, my all the time drinking spot, There's a festival called Dundas West Fest. 
and they shut off, or sorry, they like block off and shut down a chunk of Dundas West, the street, and it's like extended patios into the street, all the bars, there's purveyors of this and that, it's just essentially people come and you just get lit. You just walk around, eat random different foods, drink your face off. Which I did. I feel like my face is melting off right now, to be honest. That's how, like, hungover I am. Or maybe still drunk. I don't know. But. I didn't eat, though. Because there was things to eat. There's, like, stands where people are selling, like, corn on the cob and whatever it is. Meat on a stick. I didn't eat, though. I just drank. Which is so weird and annoying. But it's just a thing for me. I'm sure there's some of you out there like that as well. But there's some that are really good at it. Some people can drink and eat simultaneously and like succeed at it. And not die. For me, it has to be one or the other. I've, either I'm drinking and I'm full on drinking and that's it. And then I crush at the end. I'll crush a dirty meal before bed or whatever. Or in the morning on camera. But. I can't eat during drinking. It just doesn't make sense. It's like one thing is negating the other. Also, my stomach's getting full. Like, I don't want to have a full belly when I'm trying to drink. But I swear to God. I have people in my circle that are like. Insistent. Like, have to get right before they start drinking. They can eat like two, three slices of pizza. They're like, that's my base for the night. Are you psychotic? They'll eat like a burger and fries. That's my base for the night. What? That is insanity to me. If I go into the night having just ate a full meal, I can't even get drinking. I can't even start drinking. There's just too much shit in there. I'm just bloated. I feel like I'm drinking on top of like just this belly, this gut. Like, makes no sense. No sense at all. So good, but I think you're gonna have to call it because in my hungover state, I don't think I can crush anymore. Oh my god, pop, liquid, whatever, even though this is delicious for me, especially when hungover, but even in normal life, for some reason, drinking. A really refreshing cold drink is the most satisfying thing. Like, it's always better than the meal. Like, I love the food. But when you're crushing that ice cold, delicious Bev, fuck out of here. It's too good. Thirst is unparalleled to hunger, I swear. And that makes sense, because you can't live, you can live like a week or something without food, but your body can't go like three days without liquid, so it makes sense why the body naturally appreciates a drink more than food, but I don't know how many of y'all are like that, because some people are like, fuck the drink, I'll just take the food, but like for me, whew. the drink is everything. Just the sensation. Nice and cold going in your mouth. I'm like, oh my god. 
Shout out to you, Coke Zero. Shout out to you. All right, well, I don't want to push it anymore because I got to work soon and I don't like to work full. I don't like to drink full. And uh, I just, I don't know. When I'm hungover, you, don't, you never know if you may vomit. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Nice quick one for you. Very raw, very candid, very honest. No cuts, no edits, even some burps left in it probably still. Excuse me again. But uh, until the next one. You guys know what you have to do. You gotta eat good, you gotta live well, and you gotta stay true. Peace.